Hi guys, it's almost lunchtime, 12 o'clock lunchtime. I've been awake, I don't know, about two and a half hours, two hours, something like that. Um, <clears throat> I rang mum earlier, and uh, was it zoomed out? Oh, could go out a little bit further, there we go. Um, Stepdad not doing very well at the minute. Um, last night the doctor couldn't get his mouth open far enough for him to look to see what was wrong, but he could see that one side of his mouth inside and whatnot is um, extremely swollen. Um, so it gave him a course of antibiotics, very strong ones. But um, he vomited this morning. Uh, Mum thinks it could be a condition called Quincy. Um, and I've just Googled it and found it on the NHS website. Uh, if it is, he needs to get to hospital. Because, uh, one, he's not eating. Two, he's not drinking because it's far too painful. So, his sugars will drop. His fluids are going to be low, so he's going to dehydrate. And if it is Quincy, the only way to treat it is via an intravenous drip. Obviously because it's so swollen in the throat area and mouth, he can't swallow. Um, so if I haven't heard the phone ring by the time I've done this segment, I'm going to phone back. Uh, yeah, may not go over to Mum's today. Depends if my sister is able to pick me up, you know. Whether she's busy or not, she's got her own life, you know. <laughs> As we all have, pretty much, we've all got our own lives. So, yeah. We'll see. Um... I can't remember what I was going to say now. Uh, well, I suppose we could shift to a more positive note. There we go, my clock has just clicked 12 o'clock. Right, I've been playing with old bicycle lights, that was a bag of shit. That one I'm surprised it even friggin' still works, believe it or not. That came out of an old, I've got the old bits over there, all the lens was all cracked, so. I've basically been swapping parts to make a decent one. Yeah, it was just a, a cheap version of one of these, that's all it is, just a cheap knockoff version, because if you look, this is done with wires. Whereas, I suppose it's still done with wire, but this is done with solid wire. You know, the wires continued from the spring, is what I mean, and onto the board. Whereas it's just joined with a bit of black flexible wire on this one. And I've also noticed contact around the other way. Look at that. You see that? <laughs> oh, piece of shit. Piece of shit. So I just want to give this. Lens a clean. You can see where it's linked on that corner. It came off that busted one. So uh, clean this. Put that back on there. Put the cover on. And I've got a decent backlight again. I wanted to use this lens, but that came off the cheap black knockoff one I just threw across the room. <laughs> but despite it looking absolutely identical to look at at least. Um, it isn't. I 
peruse it. No, it isn't. That's why it doesn't fit. Because <laughs> it's not identical. Ah! Ah, yeah, I've just seen the difference. It's alright then. Oh! Similar, but I suppose I had to change the design a little bit to get over patents and copyright and whatnot. Can't see anyone online. Hmm. <sighs> um. I did fix a bike light using my soldering iron last night. It's the first time I've actually used it to fix something. Uh, what basically happened? It was in this one, I think. Only two of the LEDs worked. Um, when I took the little circuit board out. Basically what happened, one of the solder joints had just popped off the track and come unstuck. So you've got your little, oops, your little solder blobs under there and I just had to literally just heat the solder up and reflow it. And uh, it fixed it. It's actually quite bright. Gain for... A a cheapy one that I can't remember what I got, but it really is a cheap piece of crap. It was easy to fix. I think this got dropped, and that's what broke the LED away from the circuit board. Or at least one of the contacts was broken away. But uh, yeah, that soldering iron works pretty well, actually. I have to try my hand at uh, fixing something else with a soldering iron. And as they say, practice makes perfect, so. I haven't even got my bloody trousers on yet. I haven't even fed him. I've just been sitting here for the past hour. Not not wanting to go anywhere. I need to go out to get breakfast. Well, it's a bit late for breakfast now, but... I haven't um, eaten yet. I haven't had a drink yet. I haven't taken my pills yet. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm just... Uh, I didn't want to go anywhere in case that rang. As it's been an hour, I don't know whether to zip across to Sainsbury's before, or after, I should say after I've made this clip, or, uh, or um, what do you call it, make the phone call first. I don't even think that made an ounce bit of sense, but what I was basically trying to say was, I don't know whether to go to Sainsbury's first, and then make the phone call when I come back or to make the phone call before I go because I can guarantee actually as soon as I leave that phone will bloody ring Here it is. over the last few days and that little black dot which is a spider has just been inching his way across the ceiling to me. Literally, he only moves a short distance. He's only gone from somewhere here, sort of level with the light fitting, to there, in the, well, since the last time I showed him on video, which was a couple of days ago. <laughs> I don't know, I all, one of the weirdest spiders I think I've ever had in here. I might have one up in the corner of the lounge, actually. Let's just have a quick look. Is it, or is that a bit of muck up the corner? No, it's just some horrible cobwebs. It actually looks worse on camera than it does to the naked eye. Ooh, and here's some crows. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can hear the doves, I can hear the pigeons. Can't hear no blackbirds at the minute though. Right, I'm going to shut this off. Go throw my pants on, go throw my boots on. 
and as soon as I get to the door that thing will probably ring so talk to you in a little while right not got much of an update it's now 2.15 in the afternoon and I've still not heard from mum I did just try to phone her and got no answer so there's a very good chance the reason she hasn't phoned is because she's taken stepdad up to the hospital because uh, I think uh, me and mum are right in our suspicions it could be Quincy I've just had little brother talking to me asking if I was at mum's because he doesn't know what's been going on Um, so I've just explained to him at least what I know. Because I was supposed to um, take a Windows 7 disc with me today. But uh, obviously I haven't gone to Mum's, so that's not going to happen. Because he wanted me to get his uh, laptop running. Uh, I think he was going to pinch the RAM and hard drive out of the one on Barnum, from which ain't a problem. I've got two gig DDR3 up here and I can soon get some upgrades for it. Got a 320 gigabyte hard drive behind me so that's not a problem either. Um, yeah, so I've just sort of <laughs> sat here. What was I doing? Nothing. I've been watching. Um, TV series from James May, one that I didn't know he did, which um, I'm actually finding quite interesting. I, th I think they could have done the workshop area a bit better. It could just be me, though, personal opinion. But basically, what he, it's called is James May the Reassembler. And what he does, he takes everyday objects, not necessarily modern, from what I've seen so far, it's been vintage items and um, reassemble them from their individual component parts and the first one he did was a 1959 um, Colt lawnmower petrol lawnmower um, even assembling the engine there was over 300 pieces he had to do uh, and in this one which is episode 2 he's putting together one of those old Bakelite phones, you know, with the bloody dial on it. You know, way it would take you ten minutes to dial 999 if you're like, nine. 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 <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was to make the emergency number 999 back then. It's not so bad on modern phones because you just press the same button three times, but back then on a dial phone it was right at the bloody end you had to wait for the dial to wind all the way back before you could dial the next number. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, been interesting so far. But I've just paused it while I uh, updated you and uh, speaking to my brother. Not sure what the fluff I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day because I think going by the time and the fact... Mum ain't there. Someone would have answered the phone if they were there. So I'm pretty certain she's probably taking him up to um, A&E or the walk-in centre up in the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. Or the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital, I should call it now. I don't know why they... New building and I decided to add an extra word to the name. I don't know why. What's my little bro said? <laughs> my brother's just put oh, so not too bad then well considering anyway well I suppose it could be a lot worse but I shouldn't think it's very nice in fact like I said earlier I can sort of semi relate with um, a throat infection I've had in the past I haven't had one since I must have had that infection when I was 16, 17 so I'm going back, I don't know, what am I now, I'm now 32, 
long time. <laughs> and I haven't had anything like that since, thankfully. I'm just replying to her friends, or she don't think uh, I'm ignoring it. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I do that. I like to point the camera at my forehead. I should write things on there, shouldn't I? It's big enough. Look at it. <laughs> I get stamp, you know, fish and stamp something on there. <laughs> oh, I've been sitting down too long. I'm a bit stiff. And a stretch. Oh, Jesus. Well, I want to actually test what my friend gave me when I f eventually last night figured out how to bloody burn it to a disc. Because um, my Power ISO program kept um, coming up not responding every time I tried to burn a disc. Uh, but he sent me a. ISO file which was just labelled Windows 7 all and then because my power ISO wasn't working he sent me another one called Ultra ISO so I installed that and whatnot and uh, yeah eventually got it burnt to a disc but what I might do is just clear some space up here I've got that case there and for some reason that panel was coming off. May just slap a motherboard into here. Uh, I'll just make a very quick and sort of crude <laughs> Windows 7 rig just to see if that disc work. I might as well before I take it to mum's you know find out if it works or not. No idea how it works there was no you know I thought it was going to be a folder, you know, and I could pick to choose what version I wanted to burn to disk, but nope, it's one big file, so I presume you choose during the installation. If it worked. When did it start? Uh, what I'm going to do, because I'm chatting with these with my brother and friend on here, so um, I'm going to shut the camera down and uh, if I have any news later, I will keep you updated. Where's the stop button? There's the stop I'm not having fun. As you know from earlier, I said I want to slap a motherboard in this and uh, see if that disc I burnt off last night works. The only problem is <clears throat> I can't remember where I put the motherboard I want to use. I know where the one is I don't want to use. It's sitting on there. But there's another one with this one that I kept aside because I want to use it. It's not those two. I know for a fact it's not those two and it's not that one. Uh, but it's blue, like those ones, because it's a gigabit board, or a gigabyte board, I should say. <sighs> but I cannot, for the life of me, remember it. I can't see it anywhere either. You know, it's a big bloody blue board, and I can't see the fucking thing. So, what have I got hiding up here? Anything I can use? I've got to come up here anyway. Preferably without banging my head. Not that one. What have I got on the pile? Not that one, that's too old. Yeah. Oh. 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 I didn't realise I could go further back. Uh, I don't think I've got anything. I've got an old AMD board, P4 board. No. Right. Ow. 
Ah, you son of a... Got some board stacked up here at some point. Eey. There's another one. up here and I'm not sure why. without heat sinks on because I stack better. <sighs> Ow, just like that. Right. Come down the ladder now. Oh, my epoxy board, I've got the processor. I've got the processor to whack into it. Intel heat sink kicking around in here as well somewhere. Nope. Ah, I spoke to a friend of mine about that Asus motherboard that um, seems to be seeking everything except the video card. He said it could be a seeking problem. Um, I can't find a CMOS reset jumper on it though. It's got selectors on it for keyboard and something else, but it doesn't seem to have one for the um, CMOS reset. They usually have a jumper. Um, there's a clock RAM reset, but how can I miss it? How can I not see that poxy motherboard? I'm sure I've got a ghost in here that likes to play fucking games with me. And pretty certain I didn't drag it in here. Well, if I dragged it in here, it would be obvious. Hmm. I don't know what boards I've got on there. I might just have a look at them and see if I can uh, knock something together using this one or that one instead. Just to see, I just want to see if the disc will work, that's all. That's all I want to do, so I may do that instead. Right, so uh, give me uh, five minutes or so. Well, it didn't go to plan. I cannot get those discs or any disc I burn to work as a boot disc, and I've tried everything, I've made sure. It's set to burn it as a bootable disc, bootable image, but it doesn't want to know, so I gave up. I'm going to um, just adjust the camera a second. Uh, da, da, da. I want something like just to sit you on, that's what I want. Um, is that going to be too high? No, nope, that's better. Just prop the back of the camera up. So I just thought I'd start scraping all the gunk out of this. So I've got myself a little uh, slot screwdriver and uh, <laughs> pull chunks of um, shite out of here. Right. Oh, buddy, look at that. The gear wheel turns now. rather gunked up in here I think I may end up taking Australia apart I 
think. Go by the amount of shite that's coming out. Look at that, I just pulled out of there. Where's the 8mm? 8mm spinner, please. Ah. Show you why, because we've got to undo this and that. Undo this one. Pull that out. And pull the jockey wheel out. Oof. And hopefully I can uh, find the second one, let alone undo it. I think it's that. I'm take the back plate off by doing this. And uh, it'll give me a bit better access to clean this up. I have never, ever come across a Dralia this caked in solid shit. It's basically what it is. It's just solid crap. Grease, dirt. Look. bearing is actually still there on the bolt. Right, so I'm just going to drop that bolt back through. Couldn't do that again, that went straight between my feet. Right, so I'm now left with this basically. Um, I did have a lump of steel wool. I may need that. Just to Rub over this plate a little bit. Can be awkward because they're spring loaded, so if you're not careful, you can trap your hands. Or you can trap your cloth into it, like I just did. And so far, it's scrubbing up clean enough. So far. Look at that. I don't think this drive has ever been cleaned in its life. You can see why I took both halves off, because when I can get in here and I can get all the crap out of it. From the gunk on it, it does seem to function perfectly fine. So, I am actually considering just uh, putting this in the surface service again. The more crud I can clean off it, the better. Oh, there is something shiny underneath all this, anyway. Obviously, I'm not after perfection. I'm just after getting as much crap off of this as possible. Better. Look at that now. It's much better. I'm not too fussed about the inside here because you can't really see that. But. So even all in the spring in here, it's all just. Solid with mud. Still works though. Right, so I've just got this plate to do now. This one might be the um, trickiest. I don't think this is going to come up shiny as the other one, but this is the inside plate anyway. Notice it. Again, as soon as I can get as much of the old sticky grease off as possible. 
well, grease, mud, I don't fucking know what else is in this. Just going in through the holes. Lump of it stuck up here. I need some new steel. Well, that's all just full of shit. It's actually not usable now. Right. I'll have to get another water steel wall at some point. That's all I've got left. Clean enough, I think. That's one bolt. Ah, I've got a bolt missing. What have I done with the other bolt? Should have two bolts. Let's clear up these little bearing things because they're quite sticky and caked in mud as well. I bet someone liked doing their off-roading with that bike, you know? Just do the inside of that. If you're wondering what I was up to. There's that. I've got another one still stuck in here. Right. I've just got all this uh, hardened crap to get off. The um, jockey wheels. Out without stabbing my finger, preferably. There's a live band in the pub over the back there, but I can't hear no music though, so I presume they're either A, on a break, or B, done for the evening. Things like that don't bother me when it's done at a good, you know, a proper time. Stupid o'clock in the morning though. It's a different ball game. And I've really made that bit of steel wool a bit too big. Keep forgetting my camera's pointing down, not up. There are a lot of birds flapping around in the tree out front. Trying to get as much gunk out of the little bear and run in here as possible as well. That's better. One more of these little bearing discs to do. I might just get away again with them, just wiping these bearing discs with the uh, bushings. I don't know what you'd actually call them. Let me got the oh no, I got both fixing bolts, that's alright. Right. Second one. Oh, I had USA fried chicken for dinner. My favourite meal, number seven. You get um two hot and spicy chicken wings. Two normal pieces of chicken, it could be usually a chicken breast and chicken leg and a portion of fries and a can of drink 
and uh, it ain't too bad from there. Well, better than sort of a push biking, I don't know, 20 mile <laughs> to get a proper KFC. No tar, I'll stick to local. Mm. I'm cleaning these pulleys up, but uh, I've just realised these uh, pulley wheels, or jockey wheels, whatever you want to call them, are um, rather worn. My brother's been trying to uh, change the hard drive in his new laptop himself, but... Um, He's not sure how to get the one out of the red one or how to pull him out. I suppose he doesn't want to break anything. I think he's bored and just wants something to do. I think I may end up just salvaging the other um, derailleur. Oh crap, I can't, can I? <laughs> That's... Ooh, I should have one in here. Oh look, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and pulley wheels are definitely worn. Look. You can see in that one, nice square flat edges. His <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pinch. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just pinch the um, jockey wheels out of this one. <sighs> Could even pinch the back plate actually and just make one decent roller up out of the two. So there's one. Chop all that over there because I'm probably not going to use it. If this back plate is exactly the same, which it is, <laughs> exactly the same roller except this one's just got a different. Oh no! No 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 no! It is different. The adjustment screws are here on this one. On the other one, on the back there. No, sorry, on the front. <clears throat> and there on the other one. I do know what I'm talking about, honest. I'm not having a flitty moment or anything. A flitty moment. Not a very nice thing to say, is it? A der moment, that's a better one. Here's a der moment. I don't know why I said flitty, because I really don't like that word. Oh well. A bit late now, but I do apologise if I offend anyone with it. It's not intended, I don't like using such words. It just It's one of them where you just... You know, you just sort of say it without thinking, then you realise afterwards, oh crap. Not the best choice of word. Well, at least I do, anyway. <laughs> right. Oop, bush fell out of that one. I hear a car moving around the car park. Get off my car park! That's my fucking car park. Don't want no fucking scallywags on my car park. I've got enough scallywags on the main park. At the moment. So I'm going to put that bolt in like that and then I'm just going to get the jockey wheel with the two bearing discs and bushing. Or roller bearing I suppose. And put that in. 
get the bolt started is the plan. I hope. I've got it all lined up, I just gotta hope the thread on the bolt bites, which I believe it has, so I can go ahead. I'm not gonna do it right up tight yet. I just want it to bite because I'm gonna need a bit of a a bit of play to get the next one all lined up. What I'll do, I'll drop the bolt through like that and do the same again with the other jockey wheel. And then hopefully I've got just enough play in there to line the bolt up and get that started. There we go. And I'll just crank down both bolts like that and get to this one with it in the closed position. Not a car I recognise. And there we have it. Just a few more turns. Just make sure that they move freely. These ones are all for the bin, and they're good. But I will put this back plate back on the other one. Those two bolts. There we go, look at that now. <laughs> Still dirty from use, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. Hell of a lot better. The adjustment screw needs to go all the way in. Right, yeah. That lock can go. And there, I'm just gonna. Um, Open the dryer up. This is where you need three hands. Two to hold the bloody thing open and one to push the bolt through. Otherwise, you'll run the risk of uh, having the dryer snap back on your hand and that will hurt. I think what I'll do here, I'll try and get it to bite like... It's not going to work, is it? Sod it. <laughs> Sod it. Um, find a zip tie or something just to tie these together. So I'll put the bolt in here. And we'll get the other bolt in as well. And I'll put that with that. And I'm not going to shake all the grit and shit off of this. I'm just going to put it straight in the bin, I think. Because there's just... Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> fair bit there, isn't there? So, go in the bin, right? Well, that is the um, rear dryer refurbished. As simple as that. I don't think I'm gonna get much more clean off. I might get a little. It's not just muck, you know, it's general weathering, wear and tear and but uh well, it's definitely a bit more respectable looking anyway. Got some more grease on here. Shimano SIS. There we go. Way. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn the camera off. Go get a drink. I'm a bit thirsty. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Well, I've done absolutely jack shit. Actually, that's not entirely true. I haven't done a lot. Well sort of had a clear up down here of some of the stuff because I was getting pissed off tripping over it and I've got another disc there I think using the um, ISO software on this machine I managed to I hope rip this CD as an 
ISO image which saved to the PC and I hope I've burnt it to that DVD. Uh, I'm going to wait until I go to bed and I'll just stick it in my laptop and uh, see if the laptop will boot from the DVD. That's all I want it to do. I'm not going to install it, I just want to know if it's going to boot from the DVD. Are you fucking kidding me? There's that motherboard I was looking for. <sighs> I can't believe it's been there all day and I have, I've only just freaking noticed it. <sighs> My stepdad reckon he's blind. Jesus, he's got glasses. I should wear glasses, technically. Alright, I'm going to put this... Uh, Intel process, a bit of muck on the thing. Put this Intel dual core processor in here. Very, very carefully. So I don't want to bend at the pins. Drop that down. Because if I leave a processor in there, it's it'll prevent the pins from getting bent because uh well you can't win, because if they're on the processor, you'd run the risk of bending them on the processor. And if they're on the motherboard, if you're going to leave the motherboard lying around like I do, you run the very high risk of bending them on the socket. So, and that's why I've left that in. Uh, you can get a plastic cover that goes in here to um, protect the socket, but I don't have them. So I've opted for that method. Gigabyte. I could build another Windows 7 PC out of this. <laughs> I haven't done anything on this. I've just been chilling, basically. I've just got that dryer to drop off. I don't want to put anything back on it until I've got this frame clean. I could even drop the wheels out and everything else and just, that might be easier actually if I just take everything off and start from the ground up. Because the V-brake, I'll try again, the V-brakes need cleaning. If I take the wheels out I can access, you know, in the harder to reach bits behind here and yeah. Besides I've left my cleaning spray downstairs. Oops. <sighs> remember one thing, forget something else. So you'll remember the sandpaper. Mind you, the cleaning spray doesn't matter. I can use furniture polish. Which is over there. <laughs> uh, well, stepdad has been given some spray to spray into his mouth. Um, whether it works or not, I don't know, but... A when mum went up the hospital, according to them, it's a virus. I think bullshit, personally. I can't be bothered to investigate it, so we'll fob it off as a virus and hope it goes away. That's what I normally friggin' do, and it piss me off. Um, anyway, yeah, so hopefully it's going to get better. Can't be nice being in that much agony. Um, so yeah, obviously I didn't go to mum's today because, uh, well, she was busy dealing with stepdad. So <laughs> never mind, as I say, shit happens. It don't matter. Always another day. Probably not tomorrow. I may aim. If it's okay with mum for Thursday, because that's my payday. So I want to aim for that day. Uh, once she's done at work, obviously. She wants me to stick a little bit of petrol in for the extra run into town. I don't mind doing that. Not on that day. That's the other reason I'm thinking Thursday. Right, I've started packing stuff back up there, I've just got that other motherboard to go up. 
and those keyboards uh, and that's it I really need to go through these tubs because a lot of them I could throw into the um, outside closet out of the way that big floodlight I may end up throwing that I don't need it, I don't actually know why I picked it up in the first place to be honest <laughs> I really don't Pardon me. Just turn my monitor off. I think that's going to be a really nice bike when it's done. I don't need to bloody sit on that and just see if that seat needs to come down or not. Uh, that's as low as it'll go, as I've said before, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm thinking it does come up to my waist and they do say you should have it roughly at a waist height so I'll try it at that height and see what it's like that didn't sound healthy whatever that was outside oh, and that music never came back on so I presume the band had uh, fulfilled their gig I suppose that's what you'd call it, one to a gig. Their time slot. The pub's literally just, you can't see it because of the tree, but if it was winter, you'd see an outside light in that sort of area. Just the other side of this old DIY place that's out front here. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it doesn't bother me. During the day, it doesn't bother me. Stupid o'clock in the morning does bother me. Alright. What's the time? It's just gone 10. Mum did say she'd ring me later, but it depends. Miss you, Spider. You're gonna focus, bitch. There we go. Got a weird looking body. Oh, perhaps I should have zoomed out first. Uh, right. Um. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a shopping list of uh, materials that I need to replenish. Such as Steel World WD-40 and something else I forgot. <laughs> well, it's a nice quiet job I suppose taking off the V-brakes and that dragus so I'll do that tonight. I'll just move the bike from the toolbox. Yeah, so what I'm doing those um, Allen screws. They might clean up, if not, I've got plenty clean ones kicking around. It's not many forks, you know, that you'll find with a painted shoulder piece like that. Most of them are chrome. Well, most of the ones I've ever come across have been chrome. That's why I don't paint them, because they're not the easiest thing to paint. I could. Hmm, maybe that black paint I've got would stick. I don't know. Because I've got a set of blue forks on the trailer at the moment. Um, so I wasn't sure whether if I wanted to paint them or just chuck them. I suppose there's no harm in trying. If it comes out crap, I can just throw it. <laughs> I will need to get some brushes and white spirits so I don't have to keep tossing the brushes out. So yeah, I've got quite a list going. Uh, Peter, I couldn't get those uh, rubbers off on those forks. Uh, I'll try again. So Peter, I couldn't get the rubbers off on those forks. Um, give them a clean. And yes, I've got my shirt off because I've got hot. 
I was running around, you know, playing with the um, DV or the discs on that computer and having the clean up down here. And uh, it gets bloody hot up here because I'm living above two flats and heat rises, and I can guarantee. The old girl at the bottom there has her heating on. I wouldn't be surprised if Roger, below me, has uh, got his on. So, uh, yeah, I get a bit hot up here. And I've got all lounge windows open. Someone's posted on one of the local for sale groups, I Watch Wanted. That's very random. Yep, I'm going to share that one. Let me just share it and I'll read it out. Because I totally agree with it. I don't judge people based on colour, race, religion, sexuality, gender, ability or size. I base it on whether or not they're an asshole. <laughs> so you should judge someone. If they're an asshole, then judge them. But if they're not, who gives a fuck? You know, what colour skin they have, what race they are, what religion they are, what sexuality they are, what gender they are, ability they have or how big they are. Jesus, there's people out there that actually like being over, overweight, you know, so if they want to eat themselves into an early grave like that, then it's their life. I think it's daft that there is people out there that aren't bothered by their obesity, you know, and are quite happy to uh, live a shorter lifespan, but... I don't know. Again, what can you do? It's their life. Their life, they can live it how they like. I know some people might argue it's selfish, because there's people out there that would love them and don't want them to die, but... Isn't that being just as selfish? <laughs> you know, because you're not wanting them to die because of your own selfish wants and needs because you don't want them to, I don't know. Maybe I'm just chatting shit. <laughs> Always sounds better in my head but it doesn't come out of here that well. I think I might need to just trim over the beard, it's looking a bit... Or get a brush so I can actually brush it. It's got to be over a month since I last shaved and all I've done is just trim the excess up around the edges, that's all I've done, I've let it grow. Seems to be all the rage lately, for the past couple of years or more, you know, growing a beard. I see lots of people walking around town with a beard now. I've got lots of friends on Facebook that have grown a beard. But uh, thanks to my sister's Christmas present, I've got those wall clippers. Basically a mini set of hair clippers designed, you know, to just trim your beard. Got all the little combs with it. And that spotlight in there, and it really is showing the dirt up. I need a soft cloth or something, really, to clean. Is that on the lens or is that on my screen? No, I'm pretty certain that it's on the lens. Yeah. I do use the um, lens shutter to keep the muck off. Oh well. Oh dear, I've ran the battery out again. <laughs> it's flashing red at me. I suppose I better end the video then and get this up online. It was rather late because uh, I goofed up without realising until I'd uploaded the video. I actually stuck a Lego video right in the middle of my normal video. So, um... As it was getting close, no, it was actually gone two o'clock in the morning. I decided not to publish the video and just wait till morning. Remove the video from YouTube, 
and just quickly edit it up again and get it up, which is why last night's went up this morning. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Let's hope stepdad gets better soon. I don't like um I don't like seeing people ill. It makes me sad. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.